In proposition 4, we prove that if two triangles share a corresponding side, an angle, and another side, then both triangles must be congruent. It is important to note that today, proposition 4 is actually considered an axiom. But for historical purposes, we will demonstrate Euclid's proof of proposition 4. First, we begin by explaining axiom 4, which says things which coincide with one another are equal to one another. Now, to explain this, suppose we have line AB. And imagine we have a palette that holds the components of line AB. From inside the palette, we can move point A, and as a result, line AB changes. Moving point B also changes line AB. Now, suppose we have line CD with its components inside the palette as well. If we move points A and B so that they coincide with points C and D respectively, we can see that this actually changes line AB so that it is congruent to line CD. Hence, things that coincide with one another are equal to one another. Now, when it comes to proving propositions, we can never use a palette to change anything, but we can use it to check if things coincide. So to begin proposition 4, we are given triangles ABC and DEF. We are also given that line AB is congruent to line DE, angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF, and line BC is congruent to line EF. Now inside the palette we are not allowed to change anything, but we will move both triangles so that point A coincides with point D, and the straight line AB coincides with the straight line DE. Now, since line AB is congruent to line DE, this means that points B and E must coincide exactly with each other. Next, since we are given angle ABC is congruent to angle DEF, this means that the straight line BC must coincide exactly with the straight line EF. Now, since line BC is congruent to line EF, then we know that points C and F must coincide. Now, since we know that points A and D also coincide, then we can use axiom 4 to show that line AC must be congruent to line DF. So now the whole triangle ABC coincides with the triangle DEF, so by axiom 4, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. So now it follows that angle BAC is congruent to angle EDF by axiom 4, and angle ACB is congruent to angle DFE by axiom 4.